Hi guys, it's Nolwen and welcome in this new episode of the series Inspired By and this one it's inspired by Mindy Lesfield. Mindy and I met twice but I've been following her since her first class, Paint Your Story, and it was years ago. So for this painting I'm using a wood panel with um, sides and the first step is to add gesso with a fan brush. I'm using a fan brush because it adds more texture and as you can see I'm varying the strokes so it adds interest and it, it's not a flat surface. And the gesso will help the paint not to sink into the wood too much. And as you can see my pen brush is old and I don't treat them very well so it broke on me. So I'm using another fluffy brush instead. I collaged a bit of papers and this one was spread and it's uh, moving around which I like. I knew it would happen. I'm using a charcoal and I have been introduced to using charcoal by Mindy in one of her classes and it was very intimidating at first. It was very artsy to me. <laughs> but now I'm just loving it and this is usually what I used to. So these are the colors that I will be using for the face. You can see they are pretty basic colors and they are acrylic. And of course I will be using my catalyst wedge which is essential to this process to make it less neat I would say. So just laying, layering the colors as you can see it's the ugly stage it happens every time and as you can see the wedge makes the paint move differently and I just love the effect that it creates so layering the white with the other colors adding back some charcoal for the eyes and the paints gray for the shadow. I love paints gray. I didn't know that color before uh, Mindy introduced it. And it's like, I don't know why they call it gray because it's more of a very dark, intense blue to me. And Quinacridon Nicole Azogold is that amazing, unique color. I just love it. And I'm carving one of my personal symbols on a forehead. That's just, you know, sometimes you just need to listen and it, it told me, okay, put it there. So I just listened and done it. And my stabilo is broken too. Okay. So it needs to dry. So while it's drying, I'm focusing on the air area. And I know I wanted to use watercolor. So I'm prepping that specific area with absorbent ground, specific for watercolor. It's like the gesso for your media using a lot of water. And I don't forget the side because hopefully it will drip there. So never forget your sides when you have them. And now that everything is dry, time to play with primary elements, pigment powders, and if you're not familiar with them, they are artist grade pigment, they are shimmery, and they are made by Color Heart, and I just use them all the time. So first I'm wetting my area with a fluffy watercolor brush, opening all these, look at that, these amazing pigments, and sprinkling them with, uh, I don't know, the tool I had, you know, on ends. And Color Heart does have a shaker format for the primary elements, but I didn't have them. So, you know, just do with what you have. And using a spray bottle to go a little bit faster in the activation process and going back with my fluffy brush. You can adjust the amount of color you had and I didn't do that this time, but often I will let it dry and add some more for intensity purpose. But I liked it like that. So as you can see, I don't forget the sides. And just play and have fun. That's just what it's all about. Let the muse speak to you and listen carefully to what she has to say. 
so now you okay i'm back to the face and even though i've been painting faces for almost 10 years now i still have some trouble here and there and the nose is very difficult for me to paint because i know what i want it to look like but i don't and mindy has a, a short lesson about you know how to paint the nose and mouth and I put a link below and I need to practice. I guess that the more I will draw them, <laughs> I will feel pages of noses and mouths, even though most of my nixies usually don't have a mouth, but sometimes they do. So just layering with other Stabilo Markedal pencils in blues and reds and black and the graphite. They are my favorite. I love them. I can't recommend them enough to you they will change the game for you too i'm pretty sure so i was very frustrated at that point because i felt like it was going nowhere and i guess i should have used my wedge way more than i did this is one of my regrets when i look back at the painting process i still like her but well I guess she needed to be that way, not another way. <laughs> so just going around the face to kind of make her pop a little more and adding some of my other personal symbols, the drops, and activating them with a very tiny brush. So now time for the background. I wanted it to be like really simple because I wanted the face to be the focus. So I used two colors and blended them together as I went in kind of a degrade way and once again don't forget to paint the sides of the panel some more intensity on the corner. See? Simple. I dried it because I knew I would get messy and I paint all over my ends. I know myself. And back to the nose, which is still ugly. Now time to get out the oil pastels. I have several brands. Uh, one of my favorite is the Neo Pastels by Carandache. And I'm just adding symbols in my favorite colors. Simple, simple, simple. For the shirt, I went with white paint and added some details with my water soluble pencil and that's it I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe for more video to click that little bell and see you next time bye